My name is Lucy Kizik. I'm a scientist in the nuclear industry for our national laboratory. I have a PhD in planetary sciences from the University of Oxford, and I'm the author of Pluto Shine. Pluto Shine is a science fiction novel I wrote about every second of my spare time for about a year of my PhD, and it's set to be published in March 2022 by Golance of Orion. It's also the first time, to the best of my knowledge, that a book has explored what life might be like on Pluto, as newly seen by the eyes of NASA's New Horizons mission. And I mean life in more ways than one. The book follows a ten-year-old girl called Nu, who lives on Pluto in a scientific base somewhere in the near future and she's made it her goal to find native life on this little world in an attempt to win her father's love. But things all went horribly wrong in a traumatic accident about a year ago, and Nu hasn't spoken since. And now a team of engineers have arrived on Pluto to terraform the climate, to make it warmer and lighter and fit for human habitation. Lucian is one of those terraformers, and he's really intrigued about what happened that day why Nu's older brother is so keen she stays silent, and what she might have to tell them if she found her voice again. Throw in a saboteur, asteroids crashing into each other, the occasion to jump off the top of a mountain and then burrow under a mysterious ice sheet, and that sounds like Pluto shine in a nutshell. The New Horizons mission was the first and so far only visit to Pluto, even if that was just zooming by faster than a bullet after ten years of spaceflight and it returned the most stunning images, the most wonderful pictures of this incredibly diverse little world that, that nobody really imagined. You've got the nitrogen that we're breathing in the air right now has ponded as these, this colossal frozen ice sheet that's overturning, it's still active. You've got water ice that's bedrock, it's, it's so strong because it's so cold out there that it forms these vast mountains that are like five kilometers high. It even forms ice volcanoes. And seeing these images and seeing what Pluto actually looked like, it I had to go and see what it was like. I had to go see for myself. So I had to write Blue to Shine. I had to go see for myself if it was that amazing, and it really is. It's really something out there. This video is the cover reveal for Pluto Shine, which, delayed by COVID, is now expected on the 17th of March 2022. And the artistic team over at Golance has done the best job I could have possibly asked for of recreating the surface of Pluto. I'm absolutely blown away. <laughs> These crevasses could be what smaller divides look like here on this ice sheet that forms one half of Pluto's heart. Well, this escarpment here, this is really a wall of cliffs that are actually up to about three kilometers above the ice sheet itself. We've got our sun up here, barely bigger than the rest of the stars. And my favorite thing of all, down here you've got two of my characters in an actual scene from the book, which I'm really, really thrilled about. One is definitely a little new, but for the other you'll just have to read and make up your own mind. I haven't actually got a copy of the new cover yet, this was a earlier draft that has been released for, um, what do you call it? Um, uncorrected proof copy, which has gone to reviewers and such, so hopefully people will like it. Hopefully when it comes out in March people will really love the new cover too. Any of you who've been following this channel since the start of my PhD know what this publication means to me, and <laughs> as someone who's been writing books since, oh, stories, since I was six and who used to play dress up pretending I was an author at a signing event and get my sisters to come and bring books on the shelf that I would, you know, pretend to sign not with like the back end of a pen. <laughs> it's, it's a, holding this, the book in my hand, it's, it's kind of how I would imagine a mother feels holding her newborn. If you want to know more about Pluto or Pluto Shine or terraforming or healthy versus unhealthy father-daughter relationships, please ask away in the comments. I could talk about this book all day, I could go on and on and on, and believe me, I will. Thank you so much to Golans for publishing me, thank you for watching, and take care.